It is Swag Tuesday, people. It is. It is. Two melatonin gummies. Asleep by 10. Wake up at 12. Wake up at 3. It's not my choice. Wake up for good at 5.30. Great bowel movement. Hop on the Peloton. 90-minute scenic ride through Lake Constance, Germany. 90-minute personal best. 220 watts. Decent sleep. Bagel sandwich for breakfast, two slices of cheese, a little deli turkey, cucumbers, tomatoes, mustard, and of course, a 9.09 a.m. Coke Zero. And diesel jeans. If you're wearing jeans to sit down on a stream, you're insane. Um, we'll do this again. Jeans are some of the most comfortable pants ever invented. And if you can't handle a desk job wearing pants that have a fly and a button, then your stock is weak and you will not survive the upcoming winter. I'm not saying you got to board an airplane wearing a tuxedo. That's that those people are insane. But come on, man, jeans, jeans. You're suffering for no reason. Jeans are comfortable, bro. There's no suffering being done. They got no give. You're, you're, you're wearing a size too small, brother. You got to go up. It's not high school anymore. You might have to go to a 34. I know you go to the store. You're like, ah, just give me the 32s. But maybe it's time. You could even go a size up and then use a belt, man. The order goes sweatpants, shorts, dress pants, jeans. Um, well, I disagree. Shorts are more comfortable than sweatpants. Especially what's weird is that norm for pants... The looser a pant, the more comfortable it is. But for shorts, the tighter a short, the more comfortable it is. Anybody ever talk about this little counterintuitive phenomenon? I like my high seam shorts the same way I like my t-shirt. Like, I want the cuffs to be fucking tight to the thighs, bro. Dan Ariely wrote a book about it. Oh, so you're telling me that it's fabricated? <laughs> you're telling me it's academically fraudulent? And the... Um, the entire field of behavioral economics is now specious as a result of these revelations. Still an interesting book, though. Predictably irrational. Even if it is a fiction book. Hey, people read fiction all the time. 1987, 584 million views. So it's every song ever made. One, two... One, two, three, go! Okay, I, I, I need more. That's just, it's, it's a little too basic. I like it. I like it. I like a good bass. Ooh. Oh, it's Welcome to the Jungle! It's Welcome to the Jungle! Yeah! Dude, that is a part two! That's definitely a part two. It's like, it is a part two, yeah. K.K. Slider puts in the work. Greetings to the rainforest. What the fuck? Anything you want, but you better not take it from me. Oh! Kind of slow simmering on it. He's got that stuff in the pressure cooker. It does sound like a Mario jump in there, doesn't it? <laughs> Guns and Roses is so funny to me. I, there's people who absolutely hate them. I'm not like that. I think they've got like six or seven slappers. But then there's people who it feels like they're locked in like a, a time capsule. And there's like the, it's the only band they listen to. And I'm like, brother, they got three total albums. And then Axl Rose disappeared for 32 years and got replaced by a body double. Like, what do you, you gotta, you gotta expand your horizons a little bit, man. I'm a complete Guns N' Roses hater. They, they have a few good songs, bro. Sweet Child of Mine is a good song. Welcome to the Jungle is a good song. Paradise City is a good song. Patience is a good song. November Rain, maybe a little over dramatic, but I probably wouldn't hit skip on it. Night Train? I feel like Night Trains, I, I dare not sing Night Train because I'm pretty sure the whole thing takes place in like a, like a frequency that only a dog can hear. You Could Be Mine, I feel like is okay. 
What's the one that goes, oh, when I think about you, I want our home. Oh, when I think about you, I love you, girl. He says something like that. That's what I like about you. That's, that shit is by the Rembrandts, bro. What the fuck, man? I mean, they're not bad, but they're kind of like the Who or Led Zeppelin is weird when you're still listening to them all the time. You leave fucking Roger Daltrey, John Entwistle, Keith Moon, and fucking Pete Townsend out your damn mouth. Guns N' Roses, listen, they made some, some good rock music, but you're going to put it up there with, with the album Who's Next from 1972? What does Guns N' Roses have that, that strikes the same chord within your soul as fucking Baba O'Reilly? Or something that speaks about the nature of politics, like won't get fooled again. I think about that shit all the time. I was walking through Vancouver. We used to have uh, public e-bikes that you could rent. From, they were sponsored by a cable company called Shaw. Shaw got bought by a cable company called Rogers. They've repainted all the Shaw bikes red and changed the logo to Rogers. Meet the new boss, brother. Same as the old boss. So true or whatever. <laughs> when, you, when you want the streamer to just move on. Slash marker. Flash bang out. The dulls. Congratulations to all the Pokemon fans. This is as good as it ever gets. They announced a new one today that will be coming out soon. Savor it. I know what you're going to say. No, no, no. We're hyped because this one's going to be good. I wish I could believe that. I wish it may, I would love to be wrong. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I love more good games and more happy fans is a net positive for the world. But this is, it's, I've just been down this road before. It's the Sonic cycle, man. The last one wasn't that good. This one, we're going to fix all the problems. Look, it's got procedurally generated worlds. It's got, it looks like a freaking pizza. And then like, when it it's going to be like a trailer is going to drop, people are going to be stoked. Then there's going to be gameplay footage and people are going to be like, what the fuck? It looks like an iPhone game. Then when it comes out for like two days, people are going to be like, they did it. Game Freak, they did it. And then on the third day, people are going to be like, I hate it. I'm just, it's just the way it goes, man. It's just the way it goes. At least the people that I follow on social media. Water, I, I'm screwed. I don't know. Th these are really hard. Flying fairy is togekiss. It's a fairy with wings. That's a given. I could get that any day of the week. Why does togekiss look like a cargo plane from the American Air Force? Bug flying is all bugs. I'm going to say anorith. Not flying. Maybe those are legs. Flying monotype. That's a gimme, bro. <laughs> it's not Pidgey Ot. Cause isn't Pidgey like oh maybe there's a normal duo type in there? Water monotype. You ever hear of a little lad by the name of Tentacool? You ever hear of a little okay, maybe that's water poison then. You ever hear of a little lad by the name of motherfucking Squirtle, bro? I bet you have. And then Galar. Galar is um, Winston Churchill Pokemon. Weezing Galar. Any chance this little bro here is just poison? Nope. Let me guess. He's flying. <laughs> flying monotype. How about Dog Do Duo? Not flying. Okay. How about Spiro? Not a monotype. Have I lost my mind? You haven't? They're all normal? How the fuck is a bird with two heads normal? There are very few flying monotypes. I'm just not going to get the other ones. Like, I don't, a bug flying, maybe? Scyther? Yes! Yes! That was deceptively hard. That was a stealth build. Rookie D, the most common flying monotype. Rookie D, everybody. Rookie D. And of course, the least common. Corvusquire. Why didn't I think of that? Corvusquire. Wimpod. The, AKA the Pokemon you catch once in Pokemon Go and then ignore it. 
You're like, I'd rather just spin stops. Enormous Terrian. Hmm, okay. I think he used to coach the Montreal Canadiens. Frosmoth. What are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? Al Creamy. I do love to see Al Creamy in the, uh, in the grid we do, people. Al Creamy. Plant-based Al Creamies. We used to make the Al Creamy with real milk. We did. And the farmers loved us and we loved them. Now even the milk is plant-based, people. RN is the symbol on the periodic table for this element with an atomic number of 86. <laughs> Can you imagine how embarrassing it is to get stumped by the Barstool Sports science question, man? <laughs> what is RN? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ron rhodium. Nope. What is it, guys? It's radon? I thought radon was R. I thought that was just a, a, a flat R. Rhodium has no N? Yeah, well, lead has no P or B in it. I thought maybe there was some Latin chicanery involved, you know? It's rather 40. What the fuck is it, bro? I don't know. This is... Is Brendan Fraser's head? That's like basically a free space. I think that's it's Josh Brolin. That's Josh Brolin. That's Josh Brolin. What's weird is that this looks like Kevin Costner, but it's not Kevin Costner. Orange Lava Burst and Flash and Fruit Punch are popular flavors from what juice brand? Kool Aid. <laughs> That's not juice. They're, they're telling me it's not juice. Orange Lava Burst and Flashing Fruit Punch. Snapple? It is not Snapple, people. It is High C. Who, or Hawaiian Punch. Who knew? Those are not juice. It's, it's like a syrup. It's a watered-down syrup. Originally gaining fame, fame as a rapper... This actor has played Detective slash Sergeant Odafin Finn Tutuola on the Law and Order franchise since 2000. It's iced tea, bro. The kids are calling it the Daily Dozen, even though there's only nine questions. They're so zooted on college basketball. You, you know the John Mulaney bit. John Krasinski directed A Quiet Place. Combining for one billion Spotify streams. This American rock band dropped two, 20, two top 20 hit songs in the early 2010s with Everybody Talks and Animal. It's Def Leppard. I have no idea. I actually could not tell you. An American rock band from the early 2010s that I don't know, but I've heard of. Coming up next on... What a six point one FM. Imagine dragons dipped in the chain smokers shit your pants oil. Neon trees. I, God is my witness. I've never heard of them. Have I heard the song? I don't know. But I've never heard of the band. Neon trees. Yes, you have. Why does every motherfucker who graduated high school in 2016 think that like we share a culture? We absolutely do not. It's like my granddad being like, what's your favorite Conway Twitty song? I don't know. Fucking knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. I don't know any other ones, bro. You've heard the songs? You haven't lived in my shoes, brother. If you've been in a Hudson's Bay or listened to the indie station on the radio, you have. Okay, I'm 0 for 2 so far. If you've gone bowling since the year 2010, you've heard them. 0 for 3, okay. Is there any place that people actually, any, any thriving businesses where, uh, where they play their music? <laughs> are there any businesses that are not currently insolvent where they play them? No? Okay, noted. It's in a Snapple commercial? Okay, I don't watch the National Basketball Association on TNT. So that puts us in a rough spot on that one. My middle school band played it. That's basic, thank you, I appreciate that. Because our ass was playing, you know, Concerning Hobbits by Howard Shore from the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Because it was 2003. You anchor on the culture in which you're in. It's like me asking my, my mom 
like what her favorite song off of In the Aeroplane Over the Sea is. First off, she doesn't know it. Secondly, if she did, it would be the title track. And it's fine. It's a little saccharine. It's a beautiful song. Me personally, I'd take something with maybe a little bit more brimstone in it, maybe like a ghost or something like that. But hey, Rex Mechanica, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Two-Headed Boy. A lot of people don't know it's actually about a uh, doduo, which is crazy that they would write like a, a song about just a normal bird. But anyway, hey, thank you again, Rex Mechanica. What in God's green earth is Schmidt's awesome corn top rolls? What are these, bro? The hot dog buns? You ever think about, we were talking about it in the Peloton sub-community last night because someone in there said they make their own hot dogs. I posited something that is probably literally wrong but spiritually correct because my soul has the mandate of heaven. You can't home make a hot dog, in my opinion. If you home make a hot dog, it becomes a sausage even if the ingredients are exactly the same. So, uh, hot dogs can only come from a factory where a machine did the entire process where a machine separated the meat mechanically, spit it out into cylinders, and then chopped it. Like, a hot dog, to me, means that no flesh belonging to mankind touched the sausage at any point in the supply chain. <laughs> the first human flesh that touches a hot dog is my lips, mouth, and tongue when I eat it. Otherwise, it was robots from the slaughterhouse straight to the, the frozen food section or the uh, refrigerated food section. If you home make a hot dog, it has now become a sausage. Have some self-respect. That's a sausage. Don't, don't degrade yourself. You didn't home make hot dogs. You made, you know, an Austrian sausage known as a wiener. Because I know when I bite into that shit, it is not going to be dark pink mattress foam, okay? It's going to have distinct elements of meat and fat and like spices inside of it. It's not going to be like one uniform red like piece of styrofoam, okay? My dad home makes hot dogs. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I'm sorry. The, the, the value proposition, back me up, the Guiga, it doesn't exist. Get 12 hot dogs for like $2.99, okay? Bro is not out here getting a meat grinder and buying pig snouts and making his own hot dogs at home. It's just not good. Kielbasa, I could buy it, okay? He's not, no one's like, oh, there's hot dogs. I got to save money. You know what I'll do? Instead of buying a $1.50 hot dog at Costco, why don't I buy a $400 meat grinder and a bunch of snouts and toenails down at the abattoir? It'll pay for itself in only 48 years. My, I think that it's spiritually speaking, you can't home make a hot dog. You can only home make a sausage. 30 ounces. How many, this, is, this to me looks like a 12 pack of buns. Does that make sense? Three, like two and a half, three ounces of bun? I don't know what an ounce is. I know a fluid ounce, but these are solids, bro. So I don't think that applies. Am I insane to think that this is going to be like Four dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, it's even it's way cheaper than I. I went as low as I thought I go. Oh my god, you can get stuff at Costco for a dollar ninety nine. Sorry, for two dollars and forty nine cents. This may actually, and I, I'm not trying to farm a bit. In sticker price alone, this may be the cheapest item you could get in Costco. Almost every item you buy in Costco is like at least $10.99. Okay, okay, the hot dog. Sure, the hot dog and the pizza slice. But I'm talking about I'm talking about the stuff in the store. This will kill you though. It's probably better than the the contents of the actual hot dog bun that Costco has. Like, it's $1.50. We got to be realistic. I know that they've done a lot of work to make sure that they can offer it at $1.50, but, like, they're not, they're not sending their best flower. That's all I'm saying. What does that mean? Well, it means, like, you can't get a... You know, like, they have a facility 
They have labor. They have like the infrastructure, like the point of sale machines and stuff like that. They give you a cup with every single one. Like there, I feel like there are some people out there that are, are like a hot dog and a drink should cost a dollar fifty. And I hate to be this guy, but you are living in a fantasy land. They should not cost a dollar fifty. The fact that they do is a a miracle, but b something that should give you pause every time you eat it because something's. They're, they're cutting something out of it or putting something in in order to make it that cheap. They say it's a loss leader. Okay, so what are the unit costs? Fucking like a buck 75? That's even worse, man. Loss leaders exist. Me, when I've watched one video essay, can it, kid? I'm an executive member. I take a look at the business statement every year, okay? We're not in the same ballpark here. Stick to stuff you know. Posting bat chest emojis under the new Pokemon announcement trailer. Such a backhanded comment. Fucking 22-year-old in Econ 101 in class. Um, loss leaders exist, you know. Why don't you just say, why don't you write it respectfully? You're out here eroding the social contract between streamer and viewer for what? At least on Twitter Blue, they're getting paid four cents an hour. You're doing it for nothing? Just for cheap thrills? Yet D.L. Guiga gets blown for saying that stuff. Excuse me, he does not get blown. He gets complimented. And the fact that you think that they're the same thing, maybe that's why men don't get complimented enough. Obviously, it means too much to us. Secondarily, D.L. Guiga would say stuff like, actually, a lot of people don't know this, but Costco tends to offer the hot dogs as a perk of being a member, and it gets you into the store more often. This is known as a lost leader. The people who watch a nine-hour video essay are like, he hasn't seen the video essay. I'm busy making a video essay. It's called How to Be Bad at Balatro. One 30-minute part comes out every single day. Number of episodes, indeterminate. In the downtown Costco, you don't need a membership. That's true. That's one of the reasons that I did not go to the food court in the downtown Vancouver Costco. You go to the Richmond Costco, you go to the Burnaby Costco, you order the hot dog, it's in your hands within five minutes. You go to the downtown Costco, especially if it's a Canucks home game happening within the next two to three hours, you're in that Costco lineup for like 40 minutes to get a buck 50 hot dog. You're paying with your time. That's fine. I'm just saying at that point, I'd rather, I don't know if it's still there, but they're like right next to the Costco. There's a cool like Korean Mexican fusion place. You can get like a bulgogi arena or a bulgogi burrito or something like that. Yeah, I don't think they should have brought the green men back. I, I, I could have lived my life without seeing the outline of the green men's penises. They should at least give them like a... I don't know how you do it, like some, some kind of tape or something like that. To <laughs> I didn't need to see that. The weekend of October 17th, 2017, where Lionsgate was pogging off so I'm going to assume that I'm just, just nuts on the table. Happy death day, one. It's Halloween, bro. You got to run it. And then I'm going nuts on the table. I'm thinking it's like the saw, like saw nine. <laughs> saw eight. Is jigsaw? Sure. Try me. <laughs> he didn't even expand the boxes, bro. Okay. Let's see what else we got cooking up. $80 million Warner Brother film starring Ryan Gosling. $80 milli Warner Brothers. Let's, let's simmer that in the hopper for a minute. October 2017. It could be La La Land. You know what? It's worth five points. It's a science fiction drama. It's Firstman. I should have known. <gasps> it's not Firstman. Okay, simmer it, simmer it. That, that stings. Lionsgate, comedy horror. I'm going to say it's Boo 2, a Medea Halloween. <laughs> it's a little early for, for Boo, or a little late for Boo, I should say. Medea and the gang encounter monsters, goblins, and boogeymen at a haunted campground. They crushed it, man. How is a Neil Armstrong biopic science fiction? 
You see that tweet I made where I was replying to Mag Resta? They were like Michael Collins in the Lunar Command module watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. I replied and said, Michael Collins jerking off in the Lunar Command module. And when NASA asks him what's up with his heart rate, he says he's scared. Great tweet. I thought it was good. And you know what? It feels nice to not have to like tweet that and then like quote tweet it and send it to a broad audience to just fucking in a reply to just go, here you go. You don't need to spotlight it or something like that. Just send it out into the world. Let the communications channel, uh, channels do what they're supposed to do. That's what they're designed for, bro. Here go two more for y'all. Exactly. Didn't have great legs. Gerard Butler. Action science fiction thriller? That's Geostorm, my dude. <laughs> Some things were never meant to be controlled. It becomes a race against the clock to uncover the real threat before a worldwide beep, wipes out everything and everyone along with it. This movie fucking played in North Macedonia, bro. $33 million domestic, $221 million worldwide. What country loved Geostorm that much? That's fucking crazy, dude. It's, it's pure trash. <laughs> oh, man. Warner Brothers, Ryan Goss. Why, why don't I know this man? It made it, probably made $100 million at the box office. It stars one of the, the biggest actors of my generation in the genre that I know. Denny Villeneuve. Am I an insane person? Dune, Dune 2, Arrival, Enemy, Incendies, Nuts, Prisoners. What did he make? What did he make in between? What, what's the one movie I'm missing, bro? Oh, God. It's Blade Runner 20. Of course, it's Blade Runner 2049. Bro got Jigsaw and Happy Death Day without even looking at the info and then couldn't remember Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> no shot. It was still 92nd percent. I just wish it had the same cultural footprint as something like, uh, you know, Boo 2, a Medea Halloween. It is a great... Do you know what's fucked up too? I've only seen Blade Runner out of these. and I think I saw half of Happy Death Day on TV. This is a very rare situation of only not remembering the movie I saw. And you're going to be like, oh, you must not have liked it. No, I fucking loved it. When I was watching it, I was like, this is one of the best movies I've, I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> they got to bring graphics back. I bet I could run this shit at like 8,000 frames per second. There actually is a Witcher 2. Yeah, it's a prequel to The Witcher 3. You ever think about how learning history is so fun because it's like a prequel to the world you're living in cool history teacher who turns his chair backwards you know in many ways richard nixon was kind of like the anakin skywalker of the 20th century minus two you know anakin skywalker is a bad guy right <laughs> i'm just checking not in the first movie Okay, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of people weren't bad guys when they were nine years old. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say with that one. You mean the fourth movie? True. It, I, this guy's got some big shoes, man. This must be Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Crash Bandicoot! I should have done it's Crash Bandy, bro! Crash Bandicoot. Insane Trilogy. Yeah! <laughs> I feel bad for the youth of today in the sense that you can't appreciate how much dopamine started coursing through your veins the first time you played Crash Bandicoot, assuming that you played it sometime between like 1995 and 1998. It was actually like living in the future. Nowadays, it feels like the... the because console generations are a lot blurrier. It's like... The jump from like a PlayStation 4 to a PlayStation 5, you're like, yeah, this looks good. You imagine the jump from the Super Nintendo to the fucking PlayStation? You're going, beep, 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 
Then you boot up Crash Bandicoot and the dude's out there doing capoeira and jumping on bouncy stuff and hitting his head on a crate and little wumpa fruits are coming out. And then sometimes you stand on an elevator and it takes you to like a new level with a new side-scrolling perspective. It was like going multidimensional. It was the first time humanity became a class one species, intergalactically speaking. Thoughts on the PS5 being at the end of its lifespan? I don't have thoughts on the gaming industry. I'm, I'm one of those weird gamers who likes games but doesn't really have an interest in the gaming industry. It seems like most gamers hate games, but they love to talk about the industry. It's an action fantasy. <laughs> action fantasy in the third person with single player elements. An action fantasy game. A little game by the name of Mountain Blade Warband. It's 20, I was thinking of Mountain Blade 2. Mario is a doctor. Mario is playing golf. The game is, ah, uh, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I can't really argue with that one. It's crazy how, I mean, this is the remake, obviously. I've said it a billion times. It's crazy how well Final Fantasy VII aged. When I was a adolescent to teenager, it was my favorite game. And it became the most cringeworthy answer for what's your favorite game of all time. It was like someone telling, no disrespect, this one's going to get me cooked. But it was like telling people that your favorite movie was Spider-Verse. Like you're like, oh, another one, huh? Okay. So we got two groups of people. People who have Spider-Verse as their favorite movie and people who have any other movie ever made as their favorite movie. And it's the same size of each group. Like each group is equal weighted. That being said, over time... Final Fantasy VII aged super well. The, like, Shinra Corporation being a bastion of all things wrong with, like, uh, environmentally corrupting capitalist corporations, the eco-terrorism elements, Cloud being a baddie who baddies are in love with. Like, it mirrors modern society, bro. Like, it, that society caught up with Final Fantasy VII, not the other way around. Outfits with 10 to 15 belts, very, very true. Very true. What's wrong with liking Spider-Verse? I didn't say there's anything wrong with liking Spider-Verse. I think you're shadow boxing, brother. I just said there are a lot of you. <laughs> I get it. You ask people my age, what's their favorite movie? 35% of the population, The Dark Knight. 15% Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Probably count me amongst them. <laughs> Every generation's got its cross to bear. Lord of the Rings trilogy, Shawshank, yeah, Fight Club, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction kind of goes crazy, though. Hannibal? No. Come, listen. Battleship Potemkin? Oh, shut up. It's not your favorite movie. Battleship Potemkin. Are you fucking Nikita Khrushchev? Battleship Potemkin is your favorite movie? Get a life. You should watch Spider-Verse. But the Spider-Verse people, you should probably watch Battleship Potemkin. Now, I'm not saying it's going to replace your favorite movie. I'm just saying you need a little, you need a dose of the opposite kind of uh, medicine. Independence Day. As long as we're putting every generation on trial, I feel like that's a Gen X favorite movie. I feel like the average 51-year-old guy is like, my favorite movie? Yeah, probably Independence Day. It's great to insult the demographic because there's none of them watching. They're all at work right now, keeping the society moving. <laughs> or fucking sending emails or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it is people do, to be honest with you. You're also at work? That is crazy to think about sometimes. <clears throat> Two words. Two words unspoken. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. You know what I'm talking about, Natasha Bedingfield? Two words. It's a PG-13 sci-fi mystery thriller. I'm going to know it. It's liked by audiences and loved by critics. I'm going to know. It's Minority Report, bro. Roar! Ah! Ah! <laughs> They should have put Agent Smith in this movie. I was just thinking about this the other day. Can you imagine how hard it would have gone if Agent Smith showed up in the third act? 
Mr. Anderton. The main character of Minority Report is, is John Anderton. Anyway, that was nice. We meet again, Mr. Anderton. He does kind of have like a little, he's got like a little Donald Trump in the, in the cadence of, uh, of Agent Smith. Imagine if Donald Trump was Agent Smith. I can't, I don't know if I could do it, man. I don't think I can do it, but imagine this is the promise of AI. It can do it for us. And we can all put our brains into the hot dog meat grinder together. <laughs> what if Donald Trump was in the Matrix, bro? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, what are we doing here? Food guesser. This is a mole. Is this a mole? It looks... It looks dark like a mole, but ground beef? I mean, this, this is not a chili. It could be a... Like a goulash or something. I, brother, I'm saying Mexico. It's a bit of a crazy pick. Oh, that's chili? I must... Be, they must be cooking up weird chilies in Canada. Because this is not what any chili I've ever eaten looks like. I don't know where the picture is from. That looks more like a mole to me. What does it look like to you? Usually, maybe this is why um, Texans get annoyed with other chili recipes. The chilies I'm used to are much lighter red. Still like, not like the color of an apple, but much lighter red and contain way more ingredients than just beef. Like it would, the, the, the wet to dry ingredient ratio would be heavily tilted more towards dry versus the picture I'm looking at here. It looks good, don't get me wrong. Beans, corn, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, jalapeno pepper, peppers dipped in Mama Liz's eat your ass oil, etc., etc. Beloved dish with a rich history, so true. A rich history dating back over a century. <laughs> <laughs> laughs in Lichtensteinian. I'm just joking. My country confederated in 1867. How is Lily James 34 years old? The older you get, the faster actors and actresses will age as well. Not literally, but figuratively. Because like in my head, Timothy Chalamet is like the, the newest actor. He's the most recently released actor. But I'm pretty sure that my dog has got to be like 26 now. 26 or 27. He's almost 30 years old. They, they patched him recently. <laughs> He's 28? That's crazy. I don't think, just being honest with you, I don't know if I could name an actor younger than Timothy Chalamet. Is Ansel Elgort younger than Timothy Chalamet? No. How old is Ansel Elgort? Tom Holland is younger. I said an actor. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> Damn. Why are you cooking Tom Holland? I'm just waiting for him to, him to be in a role where he has the sauce, okay? I don't think he's a bad guy. I'm just, when I see him as Spider-Man, I'm like, he's a good Spider-Man. He's a great Peter Parker. When I see him in anything else, I'm like, brother, they can't have you playing like a badass. Like, it's just, it, it, you're, you're playing against type. And if it works, that's great. But when it fizzles, I mean, you need the right project, okay? Jacob Tremblay is 41. Isn't that crazy? You know, the craziest part, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Who the hell is Jacob Tremblay? The kid from Room? The kid from Room is 40? That, I, you, that can't be true. It can't be true. He was, I saw the movie when I was like 29. That motherfucker was like seven. <laughs> that does not make sense. That you have, you have baited me and you have succeeded. I didn't get Room. Like they were just in a room. <sighs> Listen, Yelnats, I know you're trolling. First off, Room, a great movie. When they inevitably remake it in like 2041, they're going to have to make the room like the size of a closet. Otherwise, Gen Alpha is going to be like, why are they complaining? They have so much space. 
be like the room would actually go for like thirty two hundred dollars a month in Vancouver. Stop. <laughs> call that shit like the the closet unless I'm mistaken I, am I crazy to think that that motherfucker actually had two rooms as well play the daily spelunker Yay! a noun meaning one who make kaji a noun meaning a tooth on the rim of a wheel or gear the oh, word originates cog. from <laughs> kagi hunch a verb meaning to push. Yeah, okay. Vertical. An adjective meaning. When Chris O'Donnell gets pushed to his vertical limit. Pieces. A noun meaning a part of. A noun meaning you. Kerchief. A noun meaning a square of cloth. Easy. I wear one every day. Annuity. A noun meaning. A that one's for you, D.L. Guiga. Depths. A noun meaning. Multiple Johnnies. Clatter. A verb meaning to make Something a rattle. Something that happens that makes you rise to see what is the matter. Ineptitude. A no noun comment. meaning the quality or state of... What you will see in 27 minutes. Mortification. A noun meaning... To become a mortician. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or standard language of a larger area. Koine originates from Greek, meaning common, derived from the feminine form of koinos. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or standard. Yes! <sighs> Last time I had that, I went C O I N E E. I, I went French mode, koine. This time I listened more closely from the Greek. From playing video games, I know that the Greek alphabet does not have the letter C. All C's become K's. Flabbergasted, oh. an adjective meaning feeling or showing intense shock. Gargoyle, a noun meaning a... Boys, this is for all the marbles. <laughs> 14 of 15. And the last one? Unsportsmanlike. Oh! The adjective meaning not characteristic. We beat spelling! Platinum trophy on spelling. Now listen. Was this the hardest seed we've ever had? No, but... Don't lie to me. 97.8% of you did not know how to spell koine, myself included. We had, that was a nuts on the table moment. I lost on Kogi. Well, that one, to be fair, they lied to you. Might want to mute the tab. People, they're, they're so dramatic. I'm the one who's supposed to care about this stuff. There, I've muted the website. You know, I played this yesterday. It has some persona music when you win. Someone replied VOD nuked because of the Persona music. No, it fucking wasn't. The VOD is still there, bro. It's the same thing. I don't... It, Jay, back me up here or don't. Maybe you have your own opinion. Can I tell you... You know the, the bait on Twitter that goes viral? And it's like... Um, give me one take about YouTubers that has you like this. And it's always like the most popular opinion. I wish they took better sponsors. The, the YouTuber opinion that gets me like that is when every YouTuber calls a content ID match a copyright strike. That's not fucking true. That's like saying the police are on your ass when you got a parking ticket. Parking ticket, you're not going to prison, bro. You just pay the ticket or never park in their lots ever again. A, a content ID match is like you're not earning revenue off the video. It sucks, it's your job, but it's, it's part of the business because the system is cooked. Copyright strike is literally your ass has to go back to... I, I had the happy tree friends explain to me. Can you upload full episodes of Dragon Ball Z on your channel? Like, I, and the worst part was the copyright strike I got was because I did an Escape from Tarkov video that I called Blinded by the Light, and then Entertainment One, cooked-ass Canadian film distributor, gave me a copyright strike, said it was their content because they were releasing a movie called Blinded by the Light, which is named after a song! that they didn't make that came out like 40 years ago is also just a phrase in the like English idiom dictionary. YouTube said, you know, kill first, ask questions later. My ass had to go to copyright school. Car little cartoon characters were like, can I upload Avengers Infinity War on my channel? I had to do a quiz. Yes, no, yes, no. There is a huge difference between a content ID match and a copyright strike. And when we lie about it, we're doing a, we're, we're muddling or muddying the waters of discourse. 
So you didn't get copyright struck because your ass played like a video, you played Mario music while you were doing like a TikTok react segment, okay? You got content ID matched. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Magic scab. When the Magician's Guild is on strike. It is a passive that came out in Rebirth. It's not brown or red. <laughs> it doesn't come from the devil room. Perhaps it comes from the shop. There's options. Doesn't come from the shop. And it's a high, perhaps it comes from an angel room and it is sacred heart, but sacred heart is red. It is um, angelic prism. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. It's not from an angel room. That's crazy. Let me get a silhouette. Um, bombs. Am I crazy? <laughs> 10 bombs. This item has a name. <laughs> but it doesn't come from the shop. <laughs> and it doesn't come from the boss room, the shop, the devil room, or the angel room. Where the fuck does it come from, bro? Regular secret room? Ghost bombs. I know it's not, it comes from bomb, beggar, and item room. Oh, yeah, the item room. Um, it's bombs. Bomb. Bombs. I don't know what to tell you. It's just bombs. Bombs. <laughs> Thanks for the bombs. I don't know what. <laughs> Explosive. Boom, boom, boom! There we go. I knew it existed in my brain somewhere. <laughs> Synonyms for, for bombs. Oh, boom. Ten bombs. That's a tough one, man. Holy. Quick math Olympiad question. Prove that A to the power of N plus B to the power of N equals C to the power of N has no solution over the integers. Okay. Hang on. I got my whiteboard here. Um, 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 A equals C, B equals zero. Time. Trivial solution, do better. When people start getting canceled for bad math proofs. Um, excuse me, you can't use the transitive property in this situation, do better. Anyone else get invited to the Reddit IPO? Is it a scam or should I buy? Um, Red Toe, you're the one posting investment stuff in here all the time. It's not a scam, and you shouldn't buy. The answer lives in between. The executives and equity holders in Reddit want to use you as exit liquidity in order to actually get some compensation for their time with the company. When I showed my girlfriend the message you read from me about the square root of 1,000 is not a multiple of 10, she pogged out of her gourd. <laughs> oh, man. You know what drives me bonkers? The square root of 1,000 is not a multiple of 10. He's kind of cooking with that one, huh? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Why would it be? Wait, wait, maybe they're cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, why would it be? Because of, cause of 100? Wait, 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 yeah, they're cooking, bro. No, it wouldn't be? Yeah, yeah, I know, but wait, wait, maybe you're cooking. I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like the video before you leave. Buy puts on Reddit? You guys deserve each other. The Reddit IPO purchaser and the Reddit IPO options buyer. Two sides of the same cursed coin, bro.
zero day to expiration out of the money puts. This is the way. Robert Kiyosaki told me that I should sell my 401k and buy 3,000 shipping containers full of canned beans. Bridgewater Capital says that there's 17 flags that have been tripped that says uh, we're about to be conquered by the Visigoth Empire of the Kuiper Belt. It's time to go, bro. Are you crazy? I'm, I'm out here ordering a second hash brown. It's a bull market. <laughs> Warren, Warren Buffett's getting uh, a large coffee instead of a media. Sorry, that's ridiculous. He drinks Coca-Cola. I forgot. You're not an afternoon coffee guy? I'm not an afternoon coffee guy. I'm a, I'm a double... I'm a 5.40 a.m. Slam the cold brew into my body as fast as I can type of guy. And then two Coke Zeros over the course of the stream, and then I'm off the caffeine rest of the day. A couple of times, a few months ago on the weekend, I, I thought, hey, I got nothing to do, and I'm a little drowsy. Maybe I'll have another coffee. I am now at the point where that second coffee in the afternoon, it gets me jittery. It gets me a little, the guts bubbling a little bit. It gets me a little anxious, a little shaky, and, and can definitely screw up my, my sleep a little bit. I think I've got the optimum dose for my caffeine. It's a 5.40 a.m. cold brew and then two, cold, two Coke Zeros. It's crazy thinking back. Like when I was 25, I was drinking like a pot of coffee a day. And I, you, I mean, that's not like a specific measurement. I bet it like, it was probably six cups. I don't mean like six grandes, but like it was probably like 1.5 liters of coffee a day. What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> supermarket sim is where it's at dude i was watching chibli play that he is he's cut out for costco he is, scans the items like sends the machine over to the customer and gives them exact change in 0.75 seconds faster than i could for sure and my my mental arithmetic is is pretty good I, above the median in this country for sure I mean, he's, he was cruising, man. I mean, the median person's pretty bad at math. Well, it, probably because they have to learn common core now, where they give you the number 27, and they say, how many tens are there? And you write two, and then it says, how many ones are there? And you write seven, and then it says, how many ones are there in total? And you write seven again, and then they give you an X, and then the mom writes a paragraph under it and says, hey, teacher, can you please explain to me why this is wrong? when it said uh, seven ones was right and then seven ones was wrong at the end. And the, the teacher writes another paragraph that's like, they made us teach this to them. I wish that we could not do this, but I'll literally lose my job if I don't teach them to break down the number 27 into two tens, seven ones, and then 27 ones. I'm not even saying Common Core is bad. I'm just saying that in, the, in third grade math, it looks like a horrible way to teach math but it you may reap the dividends later it's like how when i learned programming the first two semesters you know what they had us programming in we we're programming in fucking blue jay bro what the hell is blue jay blue jay is like um i don't even know what to call it like it was like a fake ide where you couldn't do anything wrong <laughs> It's the worst Java IDE. I don't even remember. I mean, we got to be honest. It was like eight or nine years ago when I used BlueJay. I feel like in the first semester of BlueJay, we didn't even like run any programs. And then the second semester, the teacher was like, you can use BlueJay for this entire semester if you want, but I would really recommend that you use Eclipse. So we were rocking Eclipse. We were hitting that control shift F5. Eclipse sucks ass now. Eclipse was abandoned. They lost the NetBeans war. Eclipse is whack too. Well, Java is whack to begin with, boys. So let's let's not hurt each other, okay? Hurt people, hurt people. But Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Oh, oh man. First year CS student be like light mode net beans. Fourth year CS student be like dark mode fucking custom linted VS code. 
You don't even have to, you just literally write a plain text sentence at the top and hit control shift F5 and it writes the program for you. Oh, baby. Editor's note, can someone tell me what control shift F5 does? Is that uh, compile and run? That lady in Minority Report be like, RUN! Remember? Sorry, I'm literally just killing time until I get my my call time here. <laughs> There's at least 200 software engineers who make 300 grand in this chat right now watching NL while stuff compiles. That's kind of crazy to think about. First thing that popped in my head is you guys should buy some gift subs, but honestly, no. I know that you're spending the money on the Reddit IPO. I wouldn't want to dig into that fund. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You don't need to buy gift subs. I'm just chilling. Of the languages I learned, I took three Java courses, two C Sharp courses, HTML, CSS that then turned into Node.js and Angular, a front end framework for web development. You're going to have opinions on all of those. You're going to C Sharp is so elegant. Oh, I, I, took, I took two C++ classes as well. I, I really like C Sharp because it was like, you know, whatever you typed, it just did it. You, the, the verbiage, the nomenclature, the syntax was very easy to learn. Hey, Sub Serial, thank you as well. Thank you. But C++, you really felt like you were getting... I know the C programmers are going to be like, ha, ha, ha. And then the assembly programmers are going to be like, mm. and then the people who wrote the fucking compiler in the first place are going to be like, mm. and then the electrical engineers who built the chip in the first place are going to be like, mm. and then the immortal deity that made the laws of physics in the first place is going to be like, well, but C++, you felt like you were getting under the hood a little bit. Like when I wrote C sharp, I was like, any idiot could understand this. When I wrote some C++, I was like, this is just for me and the boys. But the worst programming language, the class was okay because the prof was goaded. Worst programming language, Swift. The one that you had to use, I don't know if you still have to, but the Apple programming language you had to use to make iPhone apps, straight garbage. Like worse Java. Why would they, they made Java in like 1982, when they didn't know what they were doing, when they were still like the computers were just big rocks. They were like the size of a house. And then they made like Java, but worse in 2011 or something. Like, what are you doing? So I don't know how they, that, that as far as I'm concerned, after I used Swift, I was like, whoever made that app where you're drinking a beer on the first iPhone, probably should be working for like the NSA or something like that. Because I don't know how he got through the, maybe they didn't use Swift back then. Maybe they used something else, but I could barely get like a button to pop up on the screen in code. I had to use the visual organizer and then like drag the button onto the thing. And then, and I'm like, you don't understand. I don't want to do that. I want to write 17 sentences about how to put the button on the thing. Can you do one for the humanities bros? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's way tougher. You know what's funny? I know it's, listen. In college, the engineers dunk on the humanities students. They say, what are you doing getting uh, your PhD in like Russian literature? It's not necessarily a great uh, signal for your employment prospects. After college, the humanities majors dunk on the engineers because the engineers can't fight back. They are at work holding a blueprint with the hard hat on and like looking at a bridge or something like that. They don't, they, they, they literally can't defend themselves. What's crazy to me is I got to fight back on the humanities majors a little bit. I was in biology, which is kind of like the humanities of the sciences. I did take a, a reasonable number of humanities classes in university. I think it's important to have a well-balanced education. You know, there were people in my English and my classics classes that were like, I'm, we would talk and I'd be like, did you read the book? And they'd be like, nah, dude, I didn't read the book. I just kind of winged it on the essay. Then I go, oh, cool. What's your major? Thinking they're going to tell me they're like in physics and they just had to take this. And they're like, oh, my major is English literature. I'm like, you're paying like, so not a lot of money compared to what school costs in the US. But I was like, you're paying like five, 10 grand a year to get a bachelor's degree in English literature and you're not even reading the books. Like, what are you doing? In high school, that's like, 
Sure, they're making you read the books, so maybe you're not interested, but like, you're, you know, your ass doesn't have to be here. <laughs> I was going to be mad, but it's accurate. I mean, you basically said, I'm going to spend the next four years reading books. And then when they were like, read this book, you're like, nah, I'd rather not. Based? Well, I don't know. Wouldn't you rather like half-ass your way through? Like, okay, you, so you're going to be like, NL, humanities is important. I agree if you read the books. But like, if you're going to half-ass a degree, why wouldn't you half-ass one where like after you get it, you can use it to get a job more easily? If you're into the humanities, you should be passionate about the humanities and then like actually do the work so that it expands your your mental. Are you logged on on Discord? Is there a worse genre of chatter, no disrespect by the way, than guy who tries to herd the cats but is neither a herder nor a cat? Like your ass isn't even involved. I'm just waiting for a message that's going to say like get started. <laughs> I, I see Apollo right now is talking to Malf in a private Discord room. I don't think I'm ready yet. I don't think they need me. I was just asking. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, sorry, sheesh. Someone's got to say it, okay? I'm sorry. I One of the smartest things I've ever said, and people want to shoot and kill me for it, is you want a streamer who has some contempt for his audience. It's the right way to do it. It's the way that the relationship should work. There should be a little bit of friction. I should resent the fact that I'm streaming a little bit, even though I appreciate it. And then you should sometimes be like, man, this motherfucker is like insufferable. That's the, that's the way that, that's the push and pull of the relationship. Otherwise your ass will be watching like a streamer, <laughs> like just alienating everyone on the platform. A streamer with the dim lights and then the key light and then their username and logo in neon behind them. And then anytime anyone subscribed at all, there would be like fireworks would go off and they would say like, oh my God, thank you for making my dream come true. And then on YouTube, they would be like, by the way, check it out. I just bought a Lamborghini Urus. You guys made my dream come true. It's a $250,000 luxury SUV. Like we're not, we're not doing that here. We're the fucking Joker and Batman. And I don't know who's who, but we're put on the earth at the same time. And we're, a fucking twin star system rotating around each other and then when we all die there's going to be a, another one and there's going to be another one and there's going to be another one and there's going to be another one and we're going to meet in montauk bro well sorry, how many brother. how much play, play time do, do i have the least amount of do i have the least uh, amount of play time know. how much do you have 20 20 yeah. hours yeah you turn me into a damn echo <laughs> yes. Sorry, you heard it through my headphones probably because you got so loud. Oh, okay. yeah, that's the Chibli Cory connection. Okay. That's a lot, I'm man. At I'm at 21.3 hours right now. Oh, okay, I'm at 21.9. Hang on, nuts on the table. I don't think I have that many on 33.4. Peanuts. Oh, dude. Oh, Can you get 27.8? We're all in the same zone. I have 35. Wow! Corey's got the most. Yeah, but I'm also the Corey's worst. Corey's a fucking nerd, man. Yeah, but you have, to mul you have to multiply that by 0. 0.4 of my age, and then you know. I'm... Oh, he's got a 0. 0.4 malt on fucking hours. Yeah. Well, everything I experience <laughs> is forgotten. <laughs> I don't want to keep people too long past their time, so we got to get started relatively soon. Does anyone have any questions about scoring or anything like that before we get going here? Nuts so on the table. Oh. Highest round score wins. Highest round score wins. In three Just, hours. In three hours, to give you perspective, our previous scores were 8 billion by mouth, uh, 180 by bear, 180 million by bear. And then I think Justin had 1.2 mil, and then Dan had 26 mil. I covered my ears because I don't uh, want that to, to be on my mind while I'm playing. Okay, I, I see you. You, I'm, you I'm, you're, I'm, you're holding your headset even harder against your head. Only even louder. <laughs> this this was a uh, conversation in Discord, and it's been talked about in my chat. I'm not going to do the unlock everything. I think a couple people aren't doing unlock everything because they don't want to spoil the game for themselves. Yeah, not, no, 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 no. You're not. You're not supposed to unlock everything. Okay. All right, is everyone ready? I'll count us down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. All right. In this three, one on one doesn't count though. Two, one, go. Good luck to the gamers. Good luck to the gamers. 
Good luck. Good luck. I have moved to the recording tab. I will stay in the recording tab. <clears throat> play me? What decks do they say we could use? Oh, man. We should probably play on, on white stake difficulty. Two molted Andrews and a stone is a start. That's at least playable. No, that's not good enough. <laughs> we should have played a bad pair first. Yes, you are correct. We have to dump. I honestly think we can't play chip cards. We, we, we can only play Molt or like Lucky cards. So we really got to fish for like what we're looking for. I, I, we try the Lucky card. Yes! <laughs> the flat multiple. We got a long ass way to go though. <laughs> There's zero nines left in the deck. I guess we'll be discarding that. How are we, are we, we're never playing that ace, so give me a discard. It's never over, chat. It's never over. It's over when I say it's over. Two stones and two multiple Andrews. Then a, a red seal steal. Okay, it's over, guys. We can we can still play for high score. We can beat 3.2 million. That is gonna help, actually. And we got two hands left. Yeah, give it a give it a try. 4.5 million. And then you've got we got lucky again. 8664 stone. So we're not gonna make it. Probably. I don't think we will. But this is gonna be a decent score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the way. <laughs> Hold. Do people understand they're not speaking English? What does copy the repeat hand mean? It's an inherent nonsense verbiage. 6.3 million. Okay, put it in the books. This one's for you, Apollo. 6.362 million, 175 billion. That was good, though. 6.3 million. Made it to anti-11. I think we've used about 40 minutes of time. We go again. Let's try, let's try yellow deck this time. You gotta sell taros for campfire? Yeah, but why would I sell them right now when we're easily clearing blinds? Because you're easily clearing blinds, why not use them now when you don't need it? Am I crazy? When you pack a snack in the car, just in case you run off the road, you eat that granola bar like as soon as you get out of your driveway, it resets after boss blinds, my brother. You're just selling the cards for none reason. Go ahead, Fruggles. Go ahead, say it! Say it! <laughs> Apologize! Sorry, Dad. Okay. Apology accepted. Because you doing it now adds on to what you're doing later. I hate to do this. Your fave chatter's favorite chatter. Resets when boss blind is defeated. Slash user. Your fave chatter's favorite chatter. Count created 2017, which means you're at least seven years old. So already this is indefensible. Selling now adds on to what you do later. You're selling it to stack up more malt over time. He refuses to sort by suit. This bit is burning valuable time. This man is so bogle-pilled. You did mention John Bogle. You skipped the pair. He replaces jokers every round. He's ass. My goat is washed. That's tough. That's tough. Because there's like one positive message for every 35 negative messages. I'm sorry it had to happen. What's an hour in seconds? Can I, can I put in functions in the IRC? Can I do 60 asterisk 600? <laughs> 3600, thank you. 3600. I'll see you in three runs. Or never again. Ace 2, 3, 5, 8. Let's honestly, let's do it. Get in the cage. One hand remains. Well, we got a little one hour score oh, update. You scared the bejesus out of me. 
I'm sorry. I know it's intense. I know you're really into it. I don't want to waste too much of your time here, but you've got a nice, a nice, you're, you're in first place. Gosh. You're going to be in second place very shortly. Mm. Um, Corey is about to, he's about to jump into the E's, brother. I, I, I can't. They, oh, he, no. He, he's going to the moon. I don't uh, even know I, what E is. Yeah, I don't, don't, uh, you might be playing for second here, but you're currently in second, but I just wanted to let you know that you, you are shortly about to be passed by Corey. <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, other two players are, are unscored. They haven't really gotten a run yet. So okay, unscored. Comfy second. I like the sounds of that. All Good right. Good I will, I will be hour. watching Khan Academy videos on math to figure out what E is and implementing it myself. Wonderful. All right. Good luck. Next round. Cards previously played are debuffed. That sucks because I am debuffing or I'm playing a lot of cards. <laughs> That's bad. But this is good. I hate to say it, we kind of got to let these glass cards fly. Someone in chat said, oh. Ace, one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh man, Ace, one, two, three, four works. One day we're gonna learn the lesson, okay? I feel like some people, you know, when they're wrong in Balatro, in backseating, what they think is like, oh, I just won't be wrong next time. You're so close. What you the lesson you should learn is that these games are complicated. So if you say something, you know, either make sure you're right or dial down the condescension a little bit. Don't start your messages with imagine or something like that. Nah, bro, I don't think we'll be playing that. All right, all right, um, we may die. Let me see here. This is a this is trouble. There's a Joker that lets you play Ace-2-1-3-4. That would be very surprising to me. That would be surprising. I'm not saying it's demonstrably false. There's a lot of stuff in this world that I don't know, but uh, I would be a little bit surprised to find that there is a Joker that allows you to play Ace-2-1-3-4, or Ace-1-2-3-4. <laughs> there is Four Fingers is the Joker. <clears throat> we have a literacy crisis in this country, people. Local Thunk, are you here? Can you can you help us out? Discard me? Hold me? High Priestess? Honestly, that's a use. And then two cells. Past Acrobat. Oh no, Rip. Poor guy. Or girl, now that I think about it. I'm not really familiar with how things work in the circus these days. You know what's crazy? Like, everybody has days where they don't want to go to, like, their job. But, like, it's easy enough for me. I just kind of sit down and play some video games. Maybe ban a couple of people. If you're in Cirque du Soleil, that's got to suck ass, bro. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're like, oh, I really don't want to go to work today. And then they're like, oh, no big deal. Some dude four times larger than you is just going to throw you 100 feet through the air into like a tiny tube. <laughs> and then, then you're going to get out and walk... Uh, like on your hands instead of your head and walk up to somebody in the audience and then like contort your spine backwards and tilt your head and look at them upside down and then make a sound like a baby crying. No, thank you, bro. Couldn't be me. See what we're getting in the tarot card packs here. It gives us Wheel of Fortune. Listen, boys, if there was ever a time, next time, next time, next time, next time, that's a guarantee. Next Joker becomes negative. Yes. We, we are skipping tarot cards, though, but will we have enough money? Will we have enough money? Will we have enough money to buy a negative Joker? Skip a tarot. It's the right play. It's the right play to ensure it. Now, I'm a simple man. Yes! 
Corey, 2.577 e to the power of 1700. Get ready, okay? The rock is in the building. That's what Jay-Z says. Now, what freaking hands are we playing? We're playing spade flushes for the time being. But we eventually want to play five of a kind. Or flush five. Look at this sexy motherfucker right here. Worst, I mean, it is four molt with like no downside, but certainly not what I was looking for. <laughs> What's the negative joker? I wasn't here. I, I swear I am not being rude or facetious when I say this. It is the joker. It is the plus four mults joking Andrew, as we call him, around these parts. I'm, I don't want to scare you this time. No, it's okay. I, can somebody explain what E is? It's the constant that is defined mm -hmm. by pi over the speed of light. All I know is that when you see E, you move on to the next round. And Corey saw E, so okay, he'll be moving on to the next round uh, in first place. Almost assuredly. I don't know, brother. I got I got some pretty good jokers lined up here. I think he scored, what was it, like uh, trillions or hundreds of trillions? It could take like, so long to calculate that we may not know who won until <laughs> much, much later. Maybe even tomorrow morning. It was 10 trillion, apparently. 10 trillion. Um, yeah, that's that's. But the good news is you're still in second. Okay. Uh, Chip and Sin have not, they've not really scored a run even close. So you're sitting comfortable, but... Dan pulled out a 20 plus mil run on his final second, so anything can happen. You might want to improve that score a bit just to be safe. Oh, it's happening. Don't even worry about it. It's happening. I believe in you. Good luck. And I'm playing flushes. And possibly we should look at Mars as well for now. Please don't write out Corey's score long form. It's very disheartening. <laughs> Oops. Obviously, <sighs> Cardamancer is freaking cruising. I really don't want to get rid of Cardamancer for no reason. We could, I mean, Arrowhead has given us 50 chips plus 50 chips on spades. That's not even that big of a deal. How'd you gulp like that? It hurt. It hurt a little bit. I think certificate goes. And then... I guess the question is, what is our molt? Our molt is usually... Like, would we rather multiply our molt by three or add another 50 and then multiply it by another, like, 105? Well, why did why did that's 150, bro? You forgot math. <laughs> that's true. At the start, maybe we could double our our tarot cards and then move. That's that's crazy tech. Now listen, I don't think we need Hanged Man anymore. We we got so few cards to get rid of, and we're we're not. Well, I guess we could. No, no, no. It, 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 listen, use your brain, bro. Okay, sell me. Next me. Base chips and molt are halved. We literally could not care less. We've removed you from the deck. We've used another tarot card. We turned a wild card into a heart. Literally, who cares? I don't care to you. We made a we made a steel card. We're making love out of nothing at all. And then we won. And then move it. <laughs> okay, okay. We're still gonna win in one hand, but. And then you move. That was with no. Fr Who needs E, bro? We're going vanilla mode. Eight hundred and forty thousand on anti six. That's pretty solid. You're right. A, a hack Joker would go insane. I'm not wasting my money, but I am moving you back. Start with zero discards. See if I care. Money calling. Hang on. I gotta get this. Moon. Create some clubs. Don't mind if I do. 
you come back here. Bro's got better APM than StarCraft 2. Corey! Corey! Get ready, brother! Steal over Taro? Brother, have you lost your mind? Have you, have you lost? I got 67 times 1.5 attached to this. You've, you, I, no, no, no. Th this is the first one to go, okay? And then this one's leaving at some point, but not yet. Well, you got to worry. Right now, we're building up pressure in the bottle. You're the motherfucker who tosses one Mentos into the Diet Coke, and you're like, let her rip. No, 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 no. You got to build a device that then can put like 100 Mentos in it. And then you go, zoom. Trust me. The problem, how am I going to add more steel cards though when I'm playing so many polychromes? Like a polychrome is basically like a steel that you can play. You have 200 bucks? Yeah, that's not like relevant to the situation, officer. Steel cards stay in hand. But I'd rather draw, I'd rather draw 10 polychromes. You can have polychrome steel. Then they won't be flushes. It's already two X. Okay, but where, where's my where's my chips coming from? That's my question for you. Where are my chips? I guess we're getting the uh, fifty chips out of this on the first one from planets. Well, okay. You know what? You sold me. We can recover from this if it goes terribly wrong. No, we don't want this. We don't we don't want to buy taros now. That that wasn't the joker keeping us in the game. Okay, very nice. Anti 8. Love to see it. You move back here. Plus one hand per round. Very relevant. Bro, the pack has hack on it. How could it not have hack in it? Wow! Negative baseball card? Even though we only got a couple on common Andrews, that's like an unbelievable pull, man. That, that Joker is like, it's one of the best Jokers in the game. That's a, like a one in a million chance. Not literally, of course, that would be insane. How about a chance to create some more Taros? We don't care about a blue seal. We're not destroying our Jokers. Two enhanced aces. It's a tough choice. Something we know... Well, no, 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 because we're going to delete it from our deck. Something we know... We're going to keep around. So, we get to choose two? Oh, brother. <laughs> I don't know why I'm mad about getting more stuff. Imagine I clicked on the wrong one and... Got rid of all of my jokers. <laughs> Imagine. I'm, I'm sorry to do this. I think that has to be a sell. We got an archetype going. Here's an archetype for you, brother. That was not a disrespectful question, by the way, but... This is our archetype. How's that for an archetype? Well, this, this ain't so bad. Probably use Temperance, but don't fool yet. See what you get off this. <laughs> oh, 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 imagine. No, no, you never get it on the first jump. Oh, you never get it on the second jump. The flames are rising higher and higher. Endless mode. Okay, the real game begins now. What was Dan's score? He was at like 28 million. Oh my god, money's on sale to the extreme. Any any hack? Any hack in the pack? Don't come back. Sorry, we got lots of room to play with. Oh, I didn't move it. No. No! Ah, it turns out it's okay. All right, I'm not crying. 
lock in. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So you're right. This is this is some serious business. We gotta lock in here. I I gotta I, 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 it's, I okay. I'll tell you what, buddy. Money is not as relevant for us as flush scaling. Although we're trying to play five of a kind as well, but we need to have no uh, cards in here in order to get two cards off of that. Why not spend your money? So I'm just going to level with you. I think I'm not the best Balatro player on Earth, okay? But I think a lot of people... I don't think I can do it, man. I think it's a net negative. I think a lot of people are really bad at Balatro when it comes to money management. Like, they would rather just... Oh, you could just convert it to spades. That's true. <laughs> They would rather, like at 200 gold, they're like, oh, I'm only making interest on 50. They would rather spend like 150 bucks on rerolls rather than like reroll four times and then have $190 for next round where you can buy stuff without having to pay five bucks for the reroll. Like, you gotta, I, don't get me wrong, we don't need to have 200 bucks. But at some point, we need to go all in. We reroll in a hack or something like that. You, it's it's not about staying at the interest cap. Like it's you need to have a savings account pumping as well. You need an emergency fund. It's so tempting for me to to double a polychrome instead, but you know what? You raise a good point. We'll do it like that. No, go back. <laughs> Blueprint. Lock in! Lock in! Should have discarded this first, just in case. Tower. Brother, get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that tower. Blueprint! No! I did it in time! I did it in time! Come on, guys! Come on! Come on with that! <laughs> the next time. That lock in! Lock in! Okay? We gotta lock in. This is not a joke, bro. Plus one hand size. Hack me? Hack? My nightmare is that I click one too many times too fast and just run right over it. Blueprint me. Just it. A glass card will be necessary at some point. Glass? What is glass override? Probably polychrome. Lock in. Thank you. <laughs> I almost didn't lock in. Oh, man. Bro's literally out here making like a... What do we care about a gold card? This is all for tarot. Glass can have poly. It overwrites the bonus. Brother, that might... I mean, this... I don't want to lose this card from my hand, just to be clear. Or from... It still works. It's just the glass is shinier. Um, and the pen is mightier. I, it's necessary if we want to get the highest hand possible, which is essentially what we're rooting for. Hack. Hack. Ah! Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Now, it's got to be you. Though I appreciate the tarot cards you have given me, it has to be you. Yes. You're... I mean, you're a 150 mold by yourself. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you for everything. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Next Joker becomes negative. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Lock in. We're locked in. This We're, we're locked in as we speak. More taros, please. We're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. Maybe it is better on on the driver's license or on the baseball. It's still really good. What the heck? Times three molt on final hand of round? Sure. Planet cards in the consumable area? Yeah, sure. Okay, it is better on baseball. We figured it out. Better on baseball? I guess we got another uncommon too. It changes the calculus. Money's on sale today. 
hold a Jupiter in hand. So freaking true. Anytime I get a chance to hold Jupiter, we got to go with it. So freaking true. I'm so true, even this acronym. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Get bonused, my friend. You're getting dumped. Dumped, dumped, dumped. That's not a flush. Hold. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. <laughs> Just send it, man. It's going to be good enough. I guess we can wait for the last hand. Lock in. There's there's too much locking in, man. I got like the janitor's key ring. I can't keep it straight. Twenty-seven milli. So true. So true. I do think we're we're gonna we're gonna cross Dan for for third overall. I don't know if we're going E, though. We might just run out of time, too. I think there's like less than 10 minutes left overall. 3335. Three, Keep a molt so that the molt gets molted. Discard these Andrews. Steals or threes? We got another steal. This is going to be... This is my chance to get to E, brothers. Baseball's better. Baseball's best. Okay. I'm trusting you on this one. I'm locking in. This is my best chance to get E'd. I can't follow this. It's 132 million point score. Okay, that's pretty good. We're not quite in the E territory yet. <laughs> I don't want to play a flush house, bro. I want a damn liter of cola. <laughs> you want flush, not four? I guess because it's high. I got I to gotta play a steal on this. It pains me, but I got I to gotta play a steal. It's the only way. Should still get us there. Move it to Acrobat. They've forgotten. Now, there is... How many triggers are we getting off this? One, two, three. If we move it to here, to hack, we'll get three times 1.5. And we'll get the extra chips. And we'll get the extra money. Not that the money matters. It's actually the right... It's the right play. It, it, and we've done the numbers. We haven't just typed it in all caps. We figured it out. It's a new era, lads. Okay. So it's gonna be... First, we're gonna play some, some straight trash. We can play 3-3-3, three, 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 and the ace and the spades, because your bonus card's already. We get 3-3-3, three, 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 the ace and the six, which means we can dump the eight. <laughs> lock, lock in, bro. Lock in. And keep, you're going to stay here for now, and then we're going to move you to hack afterwards. Any percent chipless. Okay. We can, we're going to play you and you because we can't play four or five threes. Right now, we would play two because it'll get double triggered. Which means we're going to be playing ace for the chips. Steel, three, 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 polychrome, and this two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, play it. <clears throat> Hack will trigger before the molt, so it's worse. We got another steel card. That's nice. So this is something we need to fucking figure out, boys. Could we move Hack to the end and make it worth it? Or is that not the... Explain it to me. Plead your case. What does Blueprint need to be attached to?
baseball. Baseball. Baseball, baseball. Someone even used his full name, Jim Joker. Baseball, 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 baseball. Listen, it's not your fault <laughs> if this is wrong. It's nobody's fault. What's the Jupiter play? We have a voucher where this gives us another times 1.5 if we hold it in our, in our hand. Okay, hang on. We got a lot of first-time chatters. Baseball gives you 3.375 later. Hack gives you 3.375 earlier. Later is better. That's a good point, because you're adding first. Is it as simple as that? And then these don't add molt. Well, this one does, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> now, listen. Should driver's license be moved a little earlier because it adds 10 molt as well? In addition to its to its times three? Okay. All right, send it, brother. And you're right, tarot before hack, so that the the plus 108 then gets multiplied instead of multiplied then added. Okay, I don't know if that, I think it works. Maybe it doesn't work in that order. I don't know. Send it. We're ready to go. Lock it in. That's not how it works. Okay, chatter, feel bad. My God, we got there. <laughs> Nine bucks in my pocket. <laughs> Polychrome times 1.5. I don't think so, boys. I don't think that's going to do it. Um, I think negative Joker. Um, we go next. I don't know. <laughs> Playing a flush sets your money to zero. All right. In hindsight, I wish I had rolled. Um, but I guess money is not that relevant for us anymore. I don't think we're going to get there, but there is a chance. Not a flush. It's not relevant right now. Don't, don't concern yourself with this. We need, we can only keep three threes in it. We got another steel card. That's crazy mode. Okay. More steals, please. Two more hands. Another steal. I'm just playing an ace. <laughs> I salute you. I salute you. This is our only chance. I don't think it has a chance, but this is our only chance. Send it. Three steals, a, basically a steal in here. Wow! <laughs> Yes! It's simple. We need one more. Well, actually, this is crazy. <laughs> we need one more Jupiter, bro. Roll for the Jupiter. That's Neptune! So we need 47 billion. That's going to be tough. That's not going to be easy. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> It's not going to be easy. Enjoy that. Um, dump it, dump it, dump it. Keep it, keep it, keep it for now. Dump it, dump it. Okay, now that we have three polychromes. Dump it. Keep it. Dump it. Dump it, dump it. <laughs> dump it. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Dump it, 
Another steal has arrived. Okay, lock, lock in, lads. Play it, play it. <laughs> we're, we're cooked, man. <laughs> 47 billion is not happening. That's just that's just not realistic. But it's it's been a great run. Another steel card dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. This could still set a new personal best in the tournament, though, assuming they're still counting score here. So we have to leave the Polychrome 3 out, bro. I know it's uh, it, it seems crazy, but this is the way. Send it. I really expected to see the flames coming out. <laughs> we did get a 710 million point hand, though. That is pretty solid. New PB. Yeah, like by, I don't know, by like a factor of 50 or something. It was a good run. We made it to Anti-13 for the first time ever. Hey, Librarian, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I call that End of Bellatro. Yeah, well done. Well thank done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a, a nice second place. Uh... What, third overall, I think? Just a mere 708 million points. Perhaps more sodium polychrome threes with a blueprint hack next time, mother. Well, I wasn't... I wasn't going to say anything, but... Skipping campfire... Nah, bro. It's that ass. Hurt. Mm, brother, you had $200 and discounts. That's... You can't even buy groceries with that in 2024. You could have probably guaranteed close to 10 to 15 multi per blind. Mm, some of us don't like to play on easy mode. Some of us like to, ch <laughs> to challenge ourselves, okay? Hey, you know, a new high score and you're in for Thursday. Yes! We have our Thursday sets. I um, didn't know. I, I thought guess. it was only top two. I made it. You did make it. It is top two. Oh, top, top two, two, two from, each. Like, yes! from each. Yes! Yes, from each. Oh. Yeah, you didn't uh, know he's in. I don't know the details. I told you like seven times. I told you all. Yeah, but times. then everyone was talking about the other stuff in the Discord. You know how it is. You got to be really uh -huh. committed to scroll. That's fair. I, you know, I respect that. Oh, good Morning. event, Apollo. Good, good, in here. Yeah. good event, Hello. guys. Hello. Good event. That was fun. Corey, was well nice. met. Well met. It was crazy, dude. <laughs> Enrico Fermi ass fucking <laughs> Niels Bohr build. Your run went crazy too at the end there. Yeah, you started popping off. It did, it did. It did. Well, we'll yeah, see thanks, the Apollo. three of you and, uh, and Mouth on see you Thursday. Thursday, fuckers. Later. Well, it's bye this bye. week? Yep, this week. <laughs> oh, Thursday. shit. Okay, all right. All right. Get yeah, ready, cool. dude. All right. Good stuff. Wait, so that means, uh, wait, so Bear made it too? That means Dan got kicked out for Thursday? Is that the correct uh, assertion? I'm, I can't believe I made it out the damn mud, bro. I didn't think there was any chance. <laughs> I thought it was the winner of each goes on to a one-on-one, -on -one, but a four, uh, a four piece, okay. By the way, uh, obviously, you know, we got to salute the chatters who uh, lost their privileges over the course of the stream. But those of you who, uh, you know, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. We could, would not have gotten 708 million points were it not for the support of chat. Thank you for that. And thank you. It's me, Brian. Did you unlock anything new? I might have because I got an achievement for getting, I think, 100 million points. The heck is this? Duke Kaboom? <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Later. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing that I'm singing so loud. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing with the rest of the crowd. Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. You keep me busting all kinds of ghosts. You got me busting the ghost that's the most. Don't bust those ghosts. Okay, that's Ghostbusters.